This is Nick with Firewalls.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to route traffic through your firewall and to your web server. This is helpful for if you have a website that you want people to be able to reach and want to get around the default ports of a sonic wall. So by default, the sonic wall uses the port eight, uh, for HTTPS, which is 443, as the management interface. I don't necessarily want to be doing that. I want to be using, let's say, 4443 or 8443. Either of those will work. And that will make it so that port 443 is open to be used elsewhere. I'm going to keep it the same for now, just because I'm not going to be making that change on my end. But doing this in practice, you would actually want to change that. So the next thing we're going to do is create an address object for our web server. So we'll go ahead and name that web server. And we do want to leave this on a DMZ since it will be externally facing, and that is the most secure option. Go ahead and add that address object. And we can move on from there. Now traditionally you would want to, for for other examples, you would want to add the service object for what you're translating as, uh, as well if you are using non-standard ports, but we are using the standard port of HTTPS which is 443 and comes as a default service object in SonicWall. So we're going to go into our rules and create our NAT policy. And we'll just call it a web server net. So the source is going to be any because you want traffic coming from anywhere, hitting this to be redirected there. Any other kind of filtering will be done by the firewall in the background. Uh, so that's those are separate rules that need to be configured to ensure that you are staying secure. The destination, however, is going to be the uh, external IP of the firewall which for our firewall, the WAN interface is configured to be on X1. So we'll set that as the X1 IP. And the translated destination, now this is the important part of the NAT, is this is where we're telling that traffic to actually go. And that will be our web server, if I can find it. There it is. And the service, we want to make sure that we specify that we are doing this with HTTPS. Now I'm going to check to disable this, but if you're actually creating this, obviously you're going to want to keep this enabled so that this rule is actually doing the job it is intended to do. And perfect. Now, anytime that we would hit this with HTTPS, hit this external IP address with HTTPS, it will be translating it and sending us to that web server and ideally that website that we are trying to allow others to get to. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and please like and subscribe. And I look forward to putting out another video next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.